Hello everyone, today we have a very interesting topic is children should not watch TV and I am so eager to share my idea about this. I think children should not watch TV is a good recommendation but not a perfect decision because watching TV has got advantages and disadvantages and you have the right practice in the right time. Thank you. everyone to Voice of the Year Season 6 of IELTS Face Off. I believe tonight is going to be extremely exciting. Can you hear me? Um, I can hear you perfectly well. Ah, oh, you're very cute. You're very young, actually. Uh, yes. So how, how, how does it feel to be a finalist and also the youngest one among all the candidates? Um, I think that the age doesn't matter in this uh, competition. Wow. And to be honest, just like Rickman, I'm also pretty surprised that all my hard work actually paid off. Just being on your show is a pretty amazing experience. But now I'm in the finale of a TV show. It feels great. It does feel great. And it really, it really makes me happy to see you here and also to feel your energy just through the screen. Uh, just one small question because I'm curious. You are very, very fluent in English, but you are very young. So when did you start to learn English? Um, I think I started learning English in preschool, probably like when I'm three or something. Wow! Oh, three years old. So now you're 10, so it's been seven years. Yes. That's quite a long time. But I, I will, I'm really impressed by your fluency. Uh, thank you, Ming Kang, for sharing your thoughts. Time for us to get into the main part of the competition. In this part, our judge will be the one who announces the topic, and each candidate will have two minutes to prepare for it, and also two minutes to present things that related to that topic. After that, our judge will have a follow-up question and each competitor will have um, one minute to answer it. So, three, two, one, let's go! Question is, tell me about your aspirations for the future and how you plan to get there. So I'll say that one more time. Tell me about your aspirations for the future and how you plan to get there. So the topic today is about future plans. So your two minutes start now. They are all very hardworking right now. So, right, the time is up. Uh, seconds pass very quickly. Uh, so your two minutes has ended, and now it is the time for your presentations. Hi, Minga. It's your time. Uh, are you ready? Yes, I think so. Right. I'm very eager to, to, to hear your performance. So your time starts now. Um, hello, everybody. My name is Min Kang. And my aspiration when I grow up is to become a global citizen. For a global citizen is somebody who can think globally and will make the world a better place. They also make our poor people who have a better social position in the society. So um, to um, complete this aspiration, I have set myself three goals to be internationalized. The first goal is to gain more knowledge because it will help me get more inspirational to my friends and family. The, my, my most preferred source is always books, but I would sometimes use the internet, academic journals, or even just my own experience as a source. My second goal is to get closer to um, the community because it will help me become more sociable and also more inspirational. Some activities that I commonly do to um, strengthen bonds in my network will be like playing with my friends at recess or helping out in the neighborhood. My third goal 
is to be more responsible. Be when I task with a responsibility, I cherish every single moment of it because I know that just more responsibilities can convert to experience in larger ones. A few years ago, I was super happy to get a chance to visit the orphanage as a, I get to give presents that I know that some would really value it. And B is that I get to understand more about the world around me. The world is becoming more globalized every day. But I'm still a Vietnamese, however I act. So I, so I would also like to promote the culture of Vietnam. That's why I have to become a global citizen. And now, Wonderful. And our slogan, be global, be yourself. Thank you so much. Uh, be global, be yourself. I love your slogan. Uh, and uh, Minka, thank you so much for your performance. I really love your body language. And I think it's, uh, you have made uh, the, the presentation much more interesting. Hello. Hello. Um, I would like to ask you, if you came to England this summer, how, how would you try and be a global citizen? Um, the first thing that I would do is to um, branch out and um, maybe get to um, see um, what is the daily life of a normal English person living in Great Britain. Um, I would also um, um, maybe borrow books from a library um, so I can read about the British history. And maybe I'm just going to get to one of those historical landmarks as I read about them to get a better feel for that landmark, that battle, that war. I think that I will still need to be, I can exhibit uh, my third goal by maybe I'm going to bring my phone or some type of thing that is super valuable with me so I can um, practice um, having ownership of that item. Great, thank you very much. <laughs> So now let's imagine you're in the street with a lot of people around and you need to share them a message. What message would you tell them and in what way? Um, I think that maybe I'm going to do like a motivational poster or a banner um, and the message. Hmm. There's a lot of message that I need to start with like, hey, people, da, 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 da. Let me think. Um, maybe it's, um, I'm not prepared for this when I came here, right? <laughs> uh, I think that it's going to be, uh, maybe, um, cooperation, um, a message about cooperation because wow. I really, um, hate arguments in my family. It's like the, um, that something that I really despise is. Wow, wonderful. I, I swear this is a very uh, challenging task and it is just a, a challenge from our team that we have just come up with. So the way that you talk about it without any preparation really impressed me. And I think you've noted, so no worries. Thank you, Minka. Okay, Ming Han. Um, so I, I was really impressed with the vocabulary you used. Um, it's very complex, especially considering your age. Um, and I liked how you use hand gestures when you're speaking. Um, and I liked how you you answered, you know, saying you had three goals and and talked us through each one. Um, you used a good range of vocabulary and you gave some, some nice um, personal examples. Um, and obviously you, you ended with a lovely slogan, um, which was, was great and it was entertaining. Um, I think one thing that you can work, at, work on a little bit is your intonation. Um, I know that this, this was spoken yeah. before, um, but yeah, I thought it was a great answer. Thank you. Thank you so much for your comments on Ming Kang's performance. I'm really impressed with uh, by his um, speech too. I, I really love his uh, his body language. It's very like it makes uh, the presentation much more interesting. Thank you so much for watching.
Bye. Good night, everyone.